All right. This here is our uh, Taylor Dunn uh, B254 that we got. Uh, if you guys want to see some videos of it, here's how it looks when I when I got it. I've had it for a little while now. We've had it to the campground. Use it a lot here on the farm, hauling stuff, pulling things. Uh, my uh, two wonderful pilot and co-pilot. Say hi to all the YouTubers out there. Hi. All right. Had a had a big honking push bumper on the front with like uh, bumper pads that were on it, like you'd see on a truck dock or something. They must have used for pushing stuff. We took that off. Now this buggy here seems to sit high in the front. I got to look in. They've got the uh, leaf spring shackles inverted, so the front end's actually lifted up. I think I'm gonna. Uh, I've got some bad bushings on leaf springs. We're gonna take it all apart and put it back where it's supposed to be. Drop it back down probably. Might leave it up if we. Uh, get the bigger wheels and tires for it. Um, it's got uh, pneumatic tires on the front which are foam filled. Don't have to worry about no flats for now. And then on the back we've got 18 by 5 solid wheels which believe it or not actually do pretty good out here in the soft ground and been through a little bit of mud just not a mud hole but has what they've worked pretty well I've been really surprised. Uh, uh, quick and dirty, I had to put a ball hitch on the back. It does have a, it does have the, the factory quit pulling hitch to, it's just a round cast ring. Um, the hole's too big, the whole ball will go through it, so I had to dirty whip up some plates to, for spacers so the ball would bolt on. We used it to move a log splitter. A um, little beat up. But what do you expect for four hundred dollars? Guys, go ahead and hop off there. We get the bed cover up here. Pretty tight. Come on. Had to put had to put new batteries in the back of it. The batteries are in it were junk. So we got those installed. And then get this front lit up. Now you can tell it has a built-in charger in it which works. Uh, when I got it the uh, inside that chain case the uh, sprocket on the motor was toast it wouldn't move look more like a sprag gear than a sprocket so I uh, opened up a couple of number 35 sprockets machined the old teeth off the original sprocket and then slid them on, spaced them, and welded it instead of spending 50 bucks on a new one from Taylor Dunn. Plus, it probably sped it up a little bit, made it a little bit faster. As you can tell, it's got 9 inch four rear end, rear hydraulic brakes, the uh, front parking brake on the pinion snout, the uh, general, general electric motor. 36 or 48 volt, which I'm going to convert to 48 volt here at some point in time. I already have two more batteries. That is the uh, so that's the inside of our bed, and then we've got our steering wheel locked. You slide it up, put your padlock through the hole, and way nobody can drive off with it. Simple dashboard got your battery discharge indicator, forward reverse switch, key switch, and a horn, which actually works. Uh, parking brake works. Switches. All ready to go. We're going to use it again to pull, to pull this other minivan I got into the shop. I'm going to take a little video of that going on. So, fun little machine, powerful. This one's rated for 5,000 pound payload capacity. Pulls 17,000 pounds towing. Does a good job. Looks good on the farm. So, well, we're going to uh, 
we might be switching the tires out today since it's muddy out we're trying to pull that other van in and it was slipping in the mud we had to keep jerking it until we got on the good ground but once we were on gravel or concrete there was no stopping it so there it is in all its glory and we will talk to you guys later